A credenza is one of the most versatile pieces of furniture you can buy. So Jackie's back now with some ideas on how we can use them and what rooms they might fit in. And we'll explain what a credenza is. Just exactly. You know, we've got different words for them, like a buffet. Mm -hmm. But they're these really low pieces uh, that are super functional. Yes, so it's not like a console table, which is really just a surface. Right. Um, the, what it has in common with a console, though, is that um, a credenza is usually anywhere from 18 to 22 inches in depth. Okay. So that makes it extremely versatile in virtually any room in your house. Yeah. And I mean, I'm even talking about little pieces that you could even pop into a closet if you needed a little bit of storage because you do get storage and you get shelving with a credenza which is yes. really really functional so what I did is I've selected three and given you a couple of different looks that you can think about just to show you again the versatility of these pieces different styles so, yeah so this is a really rustic looking piece this mm -hmm. is from home sense and it's made out of teak so it's very natural and I thought it'd be kind of fun to show it kind of styled the way you might use it in a kitchen and yes. remember some kitchens you have a galley kitchen you might have a little end area sometimes even by a window in a kitchen you can kind of pop it right below the window instead of a little bar area and you can basically use it for extra storage for cookbooks and for mm -hmm. your coffee a little coffee so I'm a big fan of creating stations in yes. kitchens and I think a coffee station a little wine bar all of those are really or tea station they're really yeah. important to have so again cookbooks bowls extra well pretty stuff right. you know all of your dishware and your dish cloths baskets so really use it to keep yourself um, organized and I like baskets a lot I talked about it in the last segment I really mm -hmm. love baskets because you can use them for everything even cutlery so if you're yep. really short on cabinet space then a credenza or a cabinet that's got lots of shelves is really a perfect thing to have and to add everything's gonna look better in a basket or a tray everything like that's just the rule of decor right it truly is so it now a very is. different style very streamlined very mid-century modern mm -hmm. so this is a really beautiful piece and it's from CB2 I love the fact that it has that mid-century modern Modern kind of vibe and the legs are ash you've got a very nice glossy white finish on the top it's also very sculpted if you can mm -hmm. run your hand over it it's a shaped front door which is beautiful and this is great you could use this in a kitchen you could use this in a yeah. dining room you can use this in a hallway now I thought it would be kind of fun to do it in a sort of a family room kind of uh, vibe yeah. so again I, I'm a big fan of trays so here's your little little mini That's wine a good bar one too. lamp mm -hmm. a couple of you know again some just some pretty little collectibles now you could also just take these off and pop a TV on it that's right. Right, because it's going to be TVs are flat, and remember, yeah. these are really narrow. So this is a great little piece to just pop in onto a wall. Lovely. Mm -hmm. I love this. I actually really love this one. Yeah. Though. Urban Mind did a really nice collection this year, and I love the dark dark sort of almost charcoal stain on this but again I love using credenzas in bathrooms oh what a and great idea if you have a hall whenever I'm upstairs in a client's house yeah. I look at the hall by the main bath because if there's enough wall space I love popping a little cabinet sometimes it has to be a vertical cabinet but yeah. if you can grab a credenza pop it in because it's nice that when you have guests they will usually use your main bath right so you like them to have if, if there isn't enough room and they're not staying overnight you like them to be able to grab a towel or an mm -hmm. extra bar of soap or maybe some q-tips or cotton balls yeah. while they're going into the shower that they're going to be using so I think that a piece like this is really great either in the bathroom or as I said outside of the bathroom now that is a great idea in this case um, I've used all of the little cubbies for mm -hmm towels again soaps a lot of bath bathroom essentials basically yes, you have got wine in there Jackie. I, well I do <laughs> the, that is the a bathroom essential it is a bathroom essential <laughs> you know when we need that bath or if there's a nice romantic evening how lovely to set the stage I think it's with lovely. a bottle of bubbly or a glass of wine and yes. it's so lovely to relax and I think that's kind of fun again because there's storage you can lots of extra towels nice. so if you don't have a lot of linen cabinets you know this is a great piece to have yeah now I also you know love acrylic trays this is from my own collection but acrylic trays are perfect because they're transparent they kind of don't give you they don't take up a lot of real estate visually but perfect spot to make it just look pretty and that's what we've done here it really does yeah. uh, so many different ways to use this in your spaces I like the fact that you have the option of a closed door because yes. if you're not feeling like you're neat and tidy all the time exactly, exactly. Uh, we've got this gorgeous example of a credenza uh, as well and yes. look at that it's beautiful. 
There's wine storage from CB2. You got it. It's gorgeous. That's a great way to do it. It truly is. It's lovely. This is just no, this pretty. This is beautiful. Well, and different. sort of that mural that we were showing for the kids' bedrooms. That's right. So a floral piece of furniture really becomes a statement piece. Yes, that's from Wayfair. And this one's teak uh, from Crate and Barrel, Japanese teak. Again, lovely. showing the trend point about the fact that we're using lots of natural fibers and that's textures. Right. So that's a really great example of that. And this a one, more mod again. very, yeah, totally, more uh, very contemporary, uh, and that one is from Hollis and Morris. Yes. So, so many different ways you can go in terms of style, yes. but all really good functional pieces. Thanks, yes. Jax.